Hey guys, welcome back. Um, uh, so today I'm doing another video. Um, this time I'm doing it out of out of console and on computer. So move my hand. So we're doing the outer DOS here because a new Dino came out, and it's not a Dino, but it's a mammal. But either way, people call it dinos. Okay, so it's otter, lived her in species name is called Lucho Paluso, which is really weird to say, but yeah. It lived during the early Miocene, and it's an omnivore, and it is friendly. Found along the water islands, many oh, islands, many inlands, waterways, Lucho Paluso. Pilosa has become exceptionally adept at hunting, hunting the species, hunting and foraging. Sorry, um, this species of otter has to be particularly cunning because of its diminutive size and fierce com competition for its refer preferred food source, fish. It is not creatures that excel at combat, but would naturally pose an intimidating, po not not naturally, not naturally pose an intimidating threat to any predators. Finding packs of revolved otters is simple enough. These are di di diagnosed, distinguished, sorry, my god. Um, sorry, um, by their elongated bodies. Next time when I read this, I'm getting fucking glasses. Sorry, because I do have, but I don't use them that much. Bushy tails with, okay, so with their elongated bodies, bushy tails, and webbed feet, their trusting and inquisitive nature ensures they are often hunted for the lustrous fur, which is used for pelt, so like, it's gonna be like a starter dino when you want to use for pelt, and I don't think it's gonna be hostile, but like, deadly, like, not deadly, but like, like, just runs away from you. Um, but for, but many prefer to tame them be, to become trusted companions, alright? So, yeah. Okay, but for domestic, there are a few creatures which provide the companionship that Lustra Peluso does. Rather than traveling beside it, beside you, it would prefer to comfortably rest your back, providing insulation. Once domesticated, it can be told to harvest fish on demand with a specific goal in in mind from the fish then it consumes the otter has a knack for forging silica pearls and can even y yield a slight chance at finding black pearls within okay so for those of living of you living in the mesh and haven't been able to catch up keep up with the news arc has entered its final final stage of development version 1.0 and will be officially launching on october the 29th 2017 there have been, has been a lot of questions regarding that this will have that what will happen to the development of um yeah arc whether there will be additional content added to the base game yeah in the vein of new friends to tame, like new dinos and new engrams to learn, like new things, like new items, items to craft, like that. Oh, QOL gameplay and optimism improvements. The answer to all that is yes. Because if it says version 1.0, it's literally the same thing as Minecraft when they had like updates like that. Um, but... Yeah, we will be continuing our work on base as well plans for the future to form the free updates and DLC uh, paid and free. Today we'd like to give you a bit of an early preview tease to expect what this month later in addition to the mystery beyond the tech tape as well as our other cute, um, cute friend. We will be introducing new tech items. So here, the tech sword with a dash charge, the attack will as well armor pierce as well as armor piercing capabilities. A tech shield which can deflect, reflect, reflect, reflect. But I didn't see deflect before, sorry. Incoming projectiles and bullets and can completely stop splashing damage. The tech light can be attached and picked up by up to from any servers and is self powered by electric shards or can be linked to generators. So the fit our latest mod, Ragnarok will be receiving a large update will be a pro and which is approximately the size of the island. Players can expect to encounter new biomes such as the coastal wyvern canyon will be having another wyvern ca canyon. So yeah, a tropical desert, lowlands, Tasmania which is surprisingly odd since we Tasmania is actually a real island and small. I wonder if they're going to add the Tasmanian tiger in this.
Continuing on, several iconic beaches, a hidden temple, a new cave, an epic boss encounter, and more. Here are a few screenshots of the upcoming area. Here is the desert, because I got a rush, and here is the fourth obelisk. And people did say there is going to be one, and it was all just literally desert. And there was like a little platform, which is most of the obelisk. And here it is. I, I And it's like light blue. I knew it was going to be fucking light blue. I knew it. And this is all connected to the wyvern. It was my theory. If you guys watched my last video, um, two videos before, so yeah. And here is all morale tops right here, and this is all the can it shows everything about it. Look, and then here, like it shows the the desert biome and all that. And here, cause I want to rush through this video for a bit and like show you all this, so I can go to the Titanobo and the Phoenix. And here is this the other beach area, like desert and there will be like more beaches around here so like around here yeah yeah right here yeah shit, so around here so p players will be able to tame titano bows and they weren't tameable last time um they were going to be tameable in halloween edition but uh, they didn't have the time and um yeah because they were in a rush so they just gave us hat werewolf masks the dodo wyvern and um um, vampire masks, yeah. Yeah, wyvern, dodo wyverns. I'll t talk about it in a later video. We know you've been waiting for a while, a while we, for them. So, and we feel confident for it with our latest optimization work adding them to ARC. Their taming method will involve alluring these terrifying snakes with the fertilized eggs to feed on. We are also planning on our mid-month update, which will resolve, uh, the current loading crash in... On, yeah, yeah, on console players dedicated console player dedicated servers. Introduce our DDoS mediation for all official servers. Address for duping exploit.